Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside for an unbelievable evening of SmackDown action. Hey Cole, this Miami crowd is all fired up, baby. They can't wait for the show to start and neither can I. And I'll tell you what, when this bad boy ends, I'm going to South Beach. That makes two of us, Taz. And I know the entire SmackDown locker room feels the same way. So what are we waiting for? What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, bro. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. Oh, my! There's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. No doubt, Cole. If your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. What a counter that was. You talk about raw power. You talk about... Oh, my! The submission hold is locked in. Let me say he's going to get out of either, Cole. And there's the counter, Cole. I'll tell you what, right now, on the record, you look at a guy like Johnny Nitro, you might be looking at the future of SmackDown right in front of you. Could you gush any more about Nitro, Taz? He's got talent, but he's also got a long way to go before he lives up to that kind of hype. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't a ballet. You've got to go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You know that if you actually step in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear. I'm going to replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough on the stand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. Man, this match is so good, it's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. And there's the tag. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. They can't let your opponent think they're easy pickers. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy Three. pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Four. I think Benoit might have lost a step or two when he took that little vacation from SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? We all know that the competition on Raw isn't exactly impressive. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Paul, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Paul, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. And that's easier said than done. Oh. 
it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit. Here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, oh, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself. There's the cover. Batista's not having any of that. I think he's trying to tell Benoit that he wasn't in on it. There ain't no reasoning with the rabbit Wolverine, Cole. Not in that ring. He's got him locked in the crossface. Two crossfaces in two weeks with friends like Johnny Nitro. Who needs enemies?